Hey you, yeah that's right, I'm talking to you. Before you hit the dislike button and comment about how Dragon Ball Z shaped your childhood and that its plot and animation is far superior to Dragon Ball Super's, I want you to hear me out, please. Alrighty, let's get into it. So for starters, Dragon Ball Super is what introduced me to the Dragon Ball franchise. And does that make me biased? Well, maybe, but I tried to watch both as objectively as I could and judge them on their pros and their cons. And I just want to make it clear that this is not like a hate video toward Dragon Ball Z because there are a lot of aspects about it that I love, such as the nostalgia or even the music or even some of the arcs I really enjoy. But it is just my personal opinion and you have a right to yours. So with all that being said, I have come up with a short list with points to compare them. So let's get into why I believe Dragon Ball Super is superior to Dragon Ball Z. So for starters, I want to talk about pacing because oh my god, the pacing is whack with Dragon Ball Z. Now if you watched it a while ago, you might not have noticed this, but as someone who watched it recently and binged all the episodes, I have to say it is very, very, very noticeable how much of it is irrelevant and is just there to prolong the show. And then of course added with long recaps in the beginning that are almost 5 minutes long. So then you could have had something that was 5 episodes turned into 10, 15, 20 episodes. Something that could have been 30 episodes turned into 60 plus episodes. And while pacing isn't always a deal breaker, with how noticeable it is, it almost affects your enjoyment of the plot. And Dragon Ball Super is a lot more concise and better paced. And whether it was because of Dragon Ball Z's director or the time period and how they made anime, it is still something in my mind that I believe Dragon Ball Super does better that makes it more enjoyable to watch than Dragon Ball Z. Next, I want to talk about the plot and the story. So overall, I liked both a lot. But for me, I personally liked Dragon Ball Super's story a little bit more. Now, while this is totally subjective, it was just personal preference that I happen to like the arcs and how Super focused more around the god aspects. And while I know Dragon Ball Z is essential to everything that happens for Dragon Ball, because it's really where it sets up all the foundations and main plot premises that even exist into Dragon Ball Super, I just felt like Dragon Ball Super kind of clicked more, and that's totally an opinion. So obviously you could like Z's story more, you could like Super's story. Another thing I want to mention is even though I talked about pacing, that could also affect maybe why I didn't enjoy certain arcs as much because maybe they felt like they dragged on. So then I forget certain really good aspects that maybe I liked at the time. I just want to note that. I also want to bring up a few reasons why I hear people don't like Dragon Ball Super and why those don't particularly bother me. So let's get into it. So I hear a lot of complaining about the art. Now, I have seen why Dragon Ball Super's art has not always been at its best and I believe it's due to a few reasons. One is the time constraint of how many episodes they have to go through. And second is the worst art usually comes from the two arcs that movies were already made of those arcs. So I don't think they spent too much time on like reanimating them to make them any better. I also hear complaints on the art style of how it looks a lot more shiny and modern. That didn't bother me too much. I feel like I noticed that a lot more in the beginning of the show and as it kind of went on that wasn't like what I was really focusing on. Obviously it looks newer and doesn't have that like classic feel of the old one but what can you expect when they have like probably newer animating techniques and a, maybe a newer art director I don't know. When I was watching it a few years ago I wasn't like an art critic so I wasn't really caring I was just enjoying it for what it was and I think maybe that's why I like Dragon Ball Super because I just looked at it for what it was and not really as a prior fan of Z. Another thing I hear people complain about is how it's just like one-upping itself just more transformations bigger villains and really it's just power scaling to the max it just is out the window it just keeps going up and up and up and up and i feel like that's always been what dragon ball has been about obviously there has been like phases but really at the end of the day dragon ball is just a franchise about fighting the next big threat and getting stronger to overcome it and while now the powers have become astronomical so it's really hard to define what strength is it's really not the biggest deal because that's just what dragon ball is if you want like some super well thought out power scaling or whatever you could watch something else and might as well not watch anything from dragon ball if that's what you're into and yeah those are just a few reasons and things on why i think dragon ball super is particularly better obviously you're allowed to think z or even the original dragon 
Dragon Ball or anything you want. But, you know, I just felt like I hear a lot of downplaying what Dragon Ball Super is. And it's actually pretty good. Another thing I want to mention is the manga is still ongoing. And I do also like some of the Dragon Ball Super manga arcs. Which hopefully those get animated one day. Because I definitely think that will up people's perspective on Super overall. And yeah, tell me what you think down below in the comments. And see ya.